All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. How y'all doing out there? Today is Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I usually don't drop episodes on Sunday, but I randomly drop stuff on Sunday. Usually throughout the week is when I do my uh, 8, 12, and 6. Um, but um, I'm starting to get a lot of more traction, a lot more traction. So I'm going to start dropping videos a little more. If I could drop four videos a day, I will. But for right now, it's going to be 8, 12, and 6. On the weekends, it's going to be sporadic. Sometimes I might drop some. I dropped three yesterday, 8, 12, and 6. So, but uh, today I'm going to drop something, and this will be this video today. Um, And yeah, Sundays. So Sundays, Saturday and Sundays, I usually take off, but I was like, you know what? I ain't doing that. Let me just do some videos. All right, look, so today we're going to be talking about Mr. Hotspot. Uh, he said he sent a song to Drake and Little Yachty, waiting on a response. And um, yeah, so I want to talk about that. And Joe Button speaking on it. And uh, yeah. So before we get into that, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you are not cons if you're not subscribed and you're considering subscribing, let me earn your subscription today. Um, or if you're on the fence, you know, just watch the content and maybe you would subscribe. If you're not, I'm just glad you're here. If you want to donate to the channel, links will be on the screen. Also, too, links in the description. Uh, I don't sell no merch, but I do have content and that is free. All the beautiful ladies put one in the chat and all the guys, y'all know where to find the ones at. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to bring us all together, but don't be harassing girls in the chat. And yeah, man, they call me the hidden gem. Um, I got that name from a lot of my followers and I really like that name. So, so we're going to get into this video. And we'll be back to discuss. <laughs> What's more important, respecting someone's boundaries or... All right, so let's get into it. We're making sure the best songs are released, no matter how that comes to be. That's apparently the topic of discussion as the Little Yachty song featuring Drake that was purposefully leaked on Kai Sinai's nice live stream that sampled a song by Mr. Hotspot wasn't able to be released because Mr. Hotspot wanted a clean version for the song. And on his podcast, Joe Budden would disagree with Mr. Hotspot. What's up, y'all? Is your man Talkers World reporting for the Chicks Move channel? We got to talk about this. So at first, the song was not originally properly released and cleared because they didn't have a clean version of it. So instead of just making a new version of the song, Little Yachty chose to circumvent the boundaries of Mr. Hotspot by having- Oh, see? This is why you can't believe none of these niggas, man. So the reason why he didn't want it to be released, not because, cause I knew Yachty had some, I knew he was lying about something cause he was just too passive about it. And he's a fucking doodle ball like Drake. I knew it. So the dude told them that basically you can use the song. You just got to make a clean version of it. And you doodle ball niggas didn't want to do that. Y'all didn't want to do it. He told y'all. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's continue on. And Kaisa not let everybody listen to it, which means they get to perform it and benefit off the song without Mr. Hotspot. Even though, to be fair, we could argue this publicity is worth more than anything he would have made from that song, unless it turned into a major hit. But anyways, here's Mr. Hotspot himself on a TikTok live explaining his simple terms to clear the record. Um, and we sent it in to them. So hopefully they re-record the clean reference and we come, we come out with the clean goodness gracious all together. So I said, it's a process, but it's, it'll be good for both of their brands like that. And I'm blessed to work with children, so we just got to make it clean for them. Like, we don't need no children getting whooped because they said this or that. You understand? And if you look at the back side, it's the children who really running these views up. So if we make sure both verses clean, Everybody coming clean, everybody gonna benefit for sure. It's a process, but we appreciate you being patient. We sent that in, they got it today, and no boys about to turn up. Like, we ain't trying to hold them back from nothing, but we just need the morals correct. That's all. Not wanting the kid. Okay, now, how can you go against that? The man said that he want a clean version of the song. 
He didn't say he didn't want a dirty version either. He just said he wanted a clean version of the song. And artists do that all the time. They make two versions. They make a clean radio version and they make a regular version, an explicit version. So him asking for this isn't isn't really crazy. And number two, this is his song. If he's requiring you to do that, then why can't you just do what he asked you to do? I don't care how big of an artist you are. He's saying, look, man, just make a clean version of this. So this way the kids can dance to it. He said, he also said, so the kids won't get beat. <laughs> I like that. He's looking out for the kids that ain't going to get beat. But my nigga, like, why can't you just do a clean version? Now, I'm not saying they didn't or they couldn't, but I don't think that they looking at it from the point of view. Like they looking at it like, well, he ain't going to tell us what to do. And for you to leak the song, even though the man said to do a clean version and you did it anyway, that just shows the type of person you are. And the way you made it seem like he didn't want to release the rights. In all actuality, he just told y'all niggas to do it over. Because it got, maybe the song wasn't good enough for him. He was saying, look, just release a clean version of this. Y'all could, y'all could use the song. Just make a clean version. And you niggas is sowing y'all feelings that y'all probably like, man, I ain't doing that. We just do it the way it is. Doodle ball work, man, I swear. It's to get whooped for singing your song word for word is a very logical reason not to clear a record. If you work with kids, they're gonna be proud that your song was sampled by Drake. So they're gonna sing that song over and over again. It makes perfect sense that he wouldn't want them to be continuously singing terrible things. Especially because the people involved are master writers. They could choose any words they want. He's basically just telling them to do better. But Joe Budden- I don't know about that. Master writers? You giving these two niggas too much credit. That's crazy for you to say. Master writers? You act like these niggas is Langston Hughes or some shit. Edgar Allan Poe or some shit. Like, come on, bro. Master writers? George R.R. R. Martin or some shit. Stephen King or some shit. Master writers? Oh, God. Anyway, I mean, that was just a tangent. Sorry, let's go. On the Joe Budden podcast would ultimately disagree. And now, that's what it is. The, so I think, the fuck you is explaining it. Exactly. The fuck you is publicly saying, yo, nah, this is what happened. Yep, I'm, exactly. I'm a I'm musician at heart, <laughs> so you know what side of this I'm on. Uh, yeah, I'm leaking that. Good for you. You're a Christian now. No more dope games. Awesome. This is heat, and I need my fans to hear this right this second. I won't sell it. But I need it to be heard. Now, on the flip side of that. Nah, Joe, you bugging the fuck out. You are a man who stands on morals and integrity. And you are condoning something like that. It's not like they sampled something that they didn't know the dude. That's totally different. If they know him and they got in contact with him, he said no. And you leak it. How can you agree with that? How can you agree with that? If they if they had a sample that they didn't know to do, let's say they had a, a sample from, I don't know, uh, Kid Rock or something, and they didn't know who Kid Rock was or the Rock Kid. Let's just say Rock Kid. They didn't know who Rock Kid was, and they sampled it, put the record out. Then Rock Kid got in contact with them. That's different. But these dudes contacted the dude and asked him to clear it, and he said no unless you get a clean version, and he put it out anyway. That's that's what it is, unless something else happened in between. But he said no initially, and you like, oh, yeah, let's just leak it. You are a man who stands on morals and integrity, and now you're saying that it's okay for them to do that to somebody. It's Slaughterhouse got sued for juggernauts, yeah. which was on a mixtape. Yeah. yeah. And our argument was we not selling it. Mm -hmm. And their argument was so, we don't give a f <laughs> Yeah. It's it's helping something yeah. over there. Yeah, everything's yeah. generating money in some, and we had to pay somewhere along the lines. Do you think they get sued? If Christian dude uh, lawyers is up or paper is up, my thing with this I is I think he has something there. Damn, I'm ratting again. So yes, here he's on the side of putting out the records. In this case, it happens to be Drake, but it seems to be a principled position on the side of making sure the people get the slaps because he will be asked to explain the benefits of putting out a record, even if you don't have the clearance. Using Drake on the other- 
<laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's just an excuse for you to side with Drake. Oh, I'm putting it out because the fans need to hear this. That's some bullshit. That's bullshit. Create something else that the fans can hear or do what the guy asked you to do. But you don't leak the record and then you side with the dude who leaked the record over the guy who said, no, don't leak the record or no, you can't have the rights to the record. Oh, I need my fans to hear this. Do you really? Because the song ain't even that fire. It's OK. It's not even good. Side of it saying, if I have a Drake record and he don't want to clear it, I'm putting it out anyways. Because the people deserve to know that you can create the slaps. Take a listen. Record yeah. Do if it came out right. There's However, people that still ain't even heard that well, record. It doesn't matter. Because they live on there, DSPs. There's somebody out there who uh, Benny's cachet changed because of that record, whether it was released properly or not. More than anything. If I have a Drake feature right this second and he don't, he don't approve it, nigga, this is hitting the streets. People have to know that I have this heat and the capability of making a record sound like that, and that's what happened with Peter Guns. He, uh, uh, yeah, that's bullshit, Joe. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It's it's bullshit. Whether it's coming from you leaking Drake shit or whether you're coming from listen, leaking Christian bullshit or Mr. Hot shit. It's 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 bullshit on either on either side. If you leaking something and then somebody tell you not to do it and you do it anyway, that's bullshit, bro. I don't understand how you don't understand that. You trying to make it seem like you're doing it for the fans. You're not. You're doing it for your own personal gain. You ain't doing it for your fans. Oh, I want my fans to hear this. Then you get sued in the process. It's like, really, is it worth all that for a song that's not even that great? I just I'm just not rolling with that. I'm not rolling with the sneaky shit. If somebody tell you to, not to do something, it's their property. It's like somebody, it's like somebody telling you not to uh, uh go in their house or not to come in their house and you walk in anyway. It's like, what are you doing, bro? I told you not to come here. I told you not to do this. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's how I feel about it. I'm, I, I would never agree to 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 doing that. Sampling is different. You don't know the person, but if you know the person, or if you got in contact with the person, and the person told you not to do it, and you did it anyway, how can you side with that? And you say you have morals and integrity. How can you side with that? <laughs> Drake is a major major artist. This song is a song that's by the wayside that probably maybe may may be, be big or something like that. But it ain't like. He ain't got nothing that's similar to this or something that's like this. Most of his music is kind of like this. It ain't like his, like he don't have so songs with flows like this. If this was like, this is like SOD, Super Soap, that's how it goes. It's not like it's started from the bottom. That's a whole different flow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, or the other one, what's the other one? I might be able to learn on confidence. Da, 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 confidence. They know, they know. There's two different flows. I could see if it was something like that. But this is a regular Drake song that you probably would think was on Scorpion or, or the other album he just For All the Dogs. You heard this song, you probably think this is on For All the Dogs. It's like, come on, bro. What are we doing here? In Lord Tariq and them, they made the record off of the sample. It fucking blew up. Great. Blew up. The masses have the, the masses need to know I can do this. Now let's call and try to do it the right way. The right way is like, oh, Papa, I need hundred percent. So, <laughs> you, the, you, the, the, wait, hey, wait, that's the right way. Hold up. The label is saying we're not signing you if you don't have the rights to this record. And Peter Guns and them say, hey, you got hundred percent of it, buddy. Mr. Hotspot displayed a spine, which if you didn't know who he was before, that had to have earned your respect, no matter what. But do you disagree with him? Would you have stopped the Drake record from coming out? Or any big artist? It doesn't have to be Drake. Where do you stand on this issue? Let me know in the comment section. Peace. Yeah, man. Joe bugging the fuck out for that. Ain't no way in the world you're going to sit there and stand and say that you, you stand for morals and integrity. But at the same time, you're telling me that it's okay for you to lie and be sneaky. And that's what people be saying about Joe. He be playing both sides of the fence sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm putting this out. Oh, I'm leaking it. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. It's not. That's not good. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, the the I don't know if you heard. Maybe he didn't hear what the guy said because this the maybe that maybe Joe didn't hear what the guy said. But the guy said, "Look, put out a clean version of it. You can have the record and make some something for the kids because I want the kids to be able to sing this 
You know what I'm saying? And that'd be that. So I think that I think that when it comes to I think when it comes to Joe, a lot of times he don't want to veer too far off the to, of the Drake hate. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he 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 don't want people to think that he he want people to think he's very objective. You know what I'm saying? But I have I have a theory that, you know, he hates Drake, but he has a love hate relationship with Drake. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a family member who you uh you don't really like, but you won't let nobody do nothing to your family member. So that's my family. That's my cousin. I hate that nigga, but that's my cousin. You crazy. You think I'm going to let you talk to my cousin like that? That's my cousin. You know what I'm saying? But you initially hate the nigga deep down. I think that's how Joe feels about Drake. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Shout out to Mr. Hotspot, man. Nah, man. You did the right thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, if you ain't known, you definitely know now. Because now people going to look at you like, damn, Drake tried to steal your song? Let me hear what else you got. You know what I'm saying? And if you're doing it genuinely without just doing that, because if you was doing it for money, you would have easily just said, nah, you could have a record, just give me this for it. But you told um, one of the biggest artists ever that he has to do a song over. That's a big deal. And that's another thing I don't think Drake uh, that Joe likes. I don't think he I don't think Joe likes the fact that a nigga told Drake he has to do something over. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck you think you are telling telling this nigga that he has to do something over? Who the hell you think you are, bro? How could you do that? That's crazy. That's how I think Joe, Joe feels. But shout out to him, man. Look, man. Shit's crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad y'all tuned in. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all. Have a good night, man. Peace, bye. <laughs>